me this afternoon. That is Tucker Kraft from uh, Timber Lake. Uh, Tucker, it's been a magnificent season up there. You guys just, I just saw the score this morning, 48-44 to 44 over Potter County. Folks up in Timber Lake have got to be ecstatic about this. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a season for the folks, that's for sure. Tell me a little bit about that, uh, how that Potter County game went down. Uh, you, you talked about being up a little bit early, had some injuries and stuff. Uh, you guys prevailed, though. Tell me about the game a little bit. So we had how the game progressed. We got up by two scores in the um, first quarter, 12, 12 zero, but we couldn't convert our twos. So they kind of just stacked the box. I'm um, sorry, inside run game was the flush and very well. So uh, we just kept holding and holding. And then um, Jackson Harrison and Cooper had our quarterback threw a pick. Jackson was on the tackle. And then Cooper was coming to clean it up. And they ended up getting the heads and just stemmed each other. And then Ouch. They up. And they were down for a while. Thought it was going to be pretty serious. They just got some stingers. Um, but they ended up coming back in the game. And after halftime, and then in the third quarter, we were we were still ahead, and it was it was close. I think we behind by four. Um, I went down with a high ankle sprain, and uh, um, and that is, yeah, the first is that he did his best, but he had to get the pressure. Um, and then we a quarterback tied through for over. 450 yards. Oh, wow. Yeah, he broke school record, and he, uh, I went in and played guard, so if I couldn't run the balls and make sure we could definitely pass it, the coaches, he threw the ball like a piece of air. <laughs> broke records, and um, Trey Bowling had received for 230 yards. Wow. Um, and then I started feeling a little bit better. Um, got in a middle linebacker again, and things started going good. We've been in repetitive drives down the field on the same play, thrown to the same receiver trick. And um, when he was an open, he had an arsenal. Uh, the two last touchdowns, to take, they scored. We got the ball back. We, they onside had two kickouts that got them. Uh, so we were without the ball for two possessions. Wow. Straight. Yeah. They had it yeah. In the, the second half, they probably had the ball twice in the week. So we we had to rally. We did um, the last two positions we had. My younger cousin, Nate, freshman, um, ran a fly straight down the field and tied him to drive. He scored a 70 yard touchdown. And then we got two point conversion. And then we got the ball again. We got down trade count one right next to the end zone. So we just ran the power, and I hobbled my way to the end zone. <laughs> and we scored, and I'm tied usual to a pick, or not pick, sorry. Um, I touched down to Hank again, and he, um, Randy Most, um, a defender. Randy Most. Basically, kind of what it looked like. Let, let me ask you a little bit. Um, how, how much fun are you having playing football this year? It's it's an unparalleled season up there. Seven and zero. You guys uh, beat Harding County early in the year. I mean, how much fun is it? You talk about all your teammates being involved. It's got to be a great experience. It's a lot of fun. Um, the the team, uh, uh, I mean, I mean, the only downside is that we don't get to play a full game, and we have so much work. What? Um, oh, so, so you guys have one game left. Who do you have left on your schedule before you get headed towards the playoffs? Yeah, we're kind of breaking up here. Is there any way you can move a little bit? Yeah. There we go. Better. Yeah, better. Thank you. One, one yeah, game left. Um, well, I mean, what are you guys' thoughts and expectations? I mean, you know, heading into the playoffs, you guys are ranked. I mean, how far can Timberlake go? Um, we don't want to be just like a typical team, West River Street. If we, we get a first round game, we beat it, then 
second run comes on, we have to play some of the East River. I mean, we got to put up quite a bit of time except on the break they kind of see. How much, um, how much fun, I guess, and how exciting is it to, to feel the town of Timberlake kind of embrace you guys now that you're 7-0? and You guys had a great basketball run last year. It's got to be good to see the stands full and kids excited and stuff for what's going on. I feel like we're kind of creating, I don't know, a little bit of a winning, we're bringing winning conditions back to Timberlake. We haven't had one of those boys athletics for a long time. People just kind of look at it as, you know, on football this season? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not really looking forward to it. But now we got we got kids coming up, trying to take over our sideline, help as much as they can, drag the water around the field. Says the, the whole town empties out to the field every game. Oh wow! Um, how was it playing guard? You know, as a former offensive lineman myself, I mean, how did it feel to get down there in the trenches and do the real <laughs> dirty work? Honestly, I don't know if they just went trying that hard, but it wasn't it wasn't that hard. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm a decently strong person, so, like, it, it just, it felt even better because I was actually committing to something rather than um, trying to pass block or run block on the run when I can't run very well with my high spirit. So, sure. uh, transitioning to guard was, it was different, but it was definitely, it definitely made me work for something else. Awesome. Tucker, thanks for a quick minute, man. Good luck in your uh, regular season finale there with Phillip, uh, and good luck in the playoffs. We're going to be pulling for you all over South Dakota. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Have a good day, man.